Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. What's up, Airsofters? One thing that Airsoft does very, very well is appeal to realism. Everything in Airsoft is designed to, at the very least, appear realistic. Realistic gear, one-to-one -one replicas, realistic controls, sights and furniture, just about everything in Airsoft is made to be as close to real as possible. But there's one area where Airsoft replicas usually fall short, and that is realistic recoil. There's no getting around the absolute lack of recoil in most AEGs. Even those that do have a blowback mechanism suffer from an inherent delay between when you pull the trigger and when you actually feel the kick. And that is where airsoft gas blowback replicas shine. Not only do you get all of the realistic looks and features, but you also get realistic functions. A true trigger break, instantaneous recoil, an immediate trigger response and one-to-one -one manual of arms that actually requires you to release the bolt after your last shot. Gas blowbacks are, inarguably, the pinnacle of airsoft realism. These gas blowback rifles I have in front of me take that realism one step further. These are the EMG Daniel Defense licensed M4 series of gas blowback airsoft rifles with true licensed trademarks from Daniel Defense and a real Daniel Defense replica rail. Let's take a deep dive on these babies and see just what it takes to make them look, feel, and perform so realistically. But first, let's show you how they arrive in the box. Taking a look at the outside of the box, we're presented with the Daniel Defense logo and their slogan, as well as an EMG tag. And on the side of the box is labeled the model that's inside. Opening the box, we get a look at the foam that holds it in place, as well as our gas blowback rifle, a set of buffers for tuning, a way to load your magazines, as well as the green gas powered 50 round magazine. Let's go over some of the externals. Starting at the front, you have a Daniel Defense licensed rail called the Riz 2. There are several lengths available in this series depending on the model. You may either get a version of a front sight post inside the rail, or if you get the Mark 18, you get a shorter version of the Riz 2. Not only are there realistic trademarks on top of the rail, but on all of the sides you have the T-marks, just like the real thing. So you can reference where you have your accessories mounted if you need to dismount them for any reason. Inside that handguard, you have a one-piece metal outer barrel assembly. One other note on the Riz 2 is that you can actually remove the lower section by unscrewing the two screws fore and aft, allowing you to remove the lower section to mount things like a barrel-mounted M203, which I think is really cool looking. Behind that front assembly, you have a very nicely detailed full metal upper and lower receiver featuring Daniel Defense trademarks. Present here are your standard M4 controls, like a non-ambi mag release, non-ambi functioning bolt latch, and the non-ambi three position selector switch. The A2 grip is slender and perfectly replicates the real A2 grip, since it doesn't need to house a motor. Moving back to the top of the receiver, you'll see that you've got the charging handle, which, thanks to this being a gas blowback rifle, actually functions to charge the bolt, retracting the bolt back into the buffer tube. You'll also notice that I can lock the bolt to the rear with a functioning bolt catch. Now here is where you'd typically adjust your hop-up in an AEG. This is gas blowback. So instead of the hop-up adjustment be wheel being located inside the upper receiver, it's instead located underneath the outer barrel in front of the receiver. Now it can be a little bit difficult to access, but with your fingers, so a flathead screwdriver or an Allen tool can help you spin that rotary dial, or you can remove the lower section of the rail uh, by removing the two screws on either side for a total of four screws. One of the things absolutely worth mentioning is the rewarding sounds that this rifle makes. Like when you rack the charging handle or release the bolt or that definitive click that the trigger gives you both on its reset and at its break. Everything is tactile and the sound of the spring in the buffer tube when you're firing it really tells you that there's a whole level of realism that you can't get on an AEG here.
And finally, rounding things out, you've got a six position retractable stock, which features a nice rubberized stock pad, it's easy to adjust, and it has an integrated sling loop. But enough about how realistic these look and feel in the hand. Let's find out if these perform half as well as they look. We began our testing regimen by filling our included green gas magazine with gas, 50 rounds of 0.20 gram BBs, and headed to our chrono station. Our test showed an average FPS of close to 475, keeping in mind the ambient temperatures and magazine cooldown are factors in this FPS value, and a realistic rate of fire of about 13 rounds per second on full auto. We then headed over to test for accuracy at distance. Now the 50 foot range test proved an easy task for these gas blowback rifles, effortlessly placing hits on the six inch plate and on our EVIC professional silhouette targets. Out at the 100 foot mark, the six inch plate proved elusive, but we were still able to land hits on our EVIC professional silhouette targets. Upgrades for these like barrels and hop-up unit accessories, as well as tuning kits for just about every piece on here are available on our website. Just make sure you're looking for parts compatible with the Western Arms GNP King Arm system. A quick note about the magazines. They're full metal, green gas powered, hold about 50 rounds, and they're filled through the fill valve on the spine. Now these are Western Arms compatible, so they'll work with both Western Arms and GNP magazines made for the Western Arms system. One note about filling them though, there is a lever at the top, which when depressed, resets the fill valve, or basically the valve that the hammer strikes. Make sure that you depress this fully to seat that valve, otherwise when you're filling them, you're just gonna be venting gas out to the atmosphere. Internally, these replicas are based on the Western Arms gas blowback system. Part of what makes gas blowback rifles so cool is how closely they resemble the genuine article, not only in looks, but also in takedown. By simply punching out the rear pin, you can hinge the upper receiver away from the lower, revealing the internals and trigger mechanism and allowing you to extract the bolt carrier group. You can also easily access the tunable buffer system, which involves either swapping out or stacking multiple of these rubber pads included in the box to adjust the cyclic rate of the system. Taking out the bolt carrier group, we see that the nozzle is polymer and has an O-ring on the back of it, which you should keep clean and lubricated. Much like a real rifle, these systems feature a safety lever that will not engage unless the hammer is locked back. This means that if you pull the trigger without a magazine, the selector lever will not be able to rotate into the safe position until the charging handle is operated. Taking into account all we've talked about in this video, everything a gas blowback has to offer, realistic looks, realistic controls, the manual of arms, and of course, the realistic recoil, it's clear to see why so many have chosen gas blowback rifles as their primaries. And if you want the most realistic airsoft experience, then you might just want to pick up one of these EMG Daniel Defense gas blowback M4s in any of the available variants, colors, and lengths right here on our website at evic.com. Thanks for watching. Don't miss out on the action. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, check out our TikTok, and join us on Facebook for everything Airsoft.